Uh, grasping at the remains of my sanity, I declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny, but it is. Uh, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry just like he did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consumed the love of my life, and hope that they will devour him, along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls his family. Holy shit! Snap, man! Gotta remember that one. Um, to my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul away, so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions, for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential, the final most precious gift. However, it's not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have. Ah, Well, that was actually rather sweet but then you know at, at death's door what they say I don't know what the exact saying is but it's usually like everyone becomes a saint when they're faced with death That painting, I know I mentioned it in the main game as well, main game uh, let's play that I did, that is so incredibly creepy. Just insanely creepy. Alright, um... There's nothing in there, was there? Let's see... Let's see. All right. I'm a person who can't walk over you know what what it could be down to my underneath my knees in length height, but there you go. Anyway, uh I think my room is there and I think we can also check out parents' bedroom. This is their bedroom, or his only. I don't know if he... because of all the bottles. Boys are running all around, running all around. So funny! Oh yeah, she's in bed and he's yelling and I'm hiding in the closet. Oh, Joel. Oh, I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Why won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. It's a bit harsh. Where are you there? Hey, you go Ben. All right, maybe I can open this. Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, good. The less, I don't know. Do we want to do? <laughs> I don't want to do this again because I fucked that up so badly. <laughs> it was just not like going forward and backwards. It wasn't that easy? There's no record on it though, so how would it work? Right.
Moving on. Let's go into... Let's save that for later. I don't remember what that room was, but it's very ominous around here with all the, like, spooky, spooky, extra creepy stuff. So let's go... I'm guessing... Oh, damn, we even have two doors, but that's my bedroom. But I guess this is probably just a cupboard or something, so we'll go there first. All right. She could play... She could have played, like, Arvin or, you know, some some character like that. Uh, I think she's a bit like that. Daddy being nuts. Nuts. Yeah, so I think the main rooms are his... First one we went to. Oh, by the way, I think I missed. I think I read that I missed some. Uh, let's hope we can get to it now. I think there was. Was there. Ugh, I have to move my. I think there was something. Oh. <laughs> What's that doing? I don't think we've seen this one, though. I, I don't remember, sorry. Sorry if this is a repetition then, but there you go. My beloved, I've been thinking about what happened. I've been trying to understand. My dear, help me. I just don't understand. Why would you do it? All right, this is a, regarding her suicide. I think we've seen it. Do you feel like there was no other way? Tell me, goddammit. What did I do to deserve this? I did my best. You know I did. I gave you everything, you selfish fucking whore. Why would you do this to us? I don't know why it's like... But anyway... What's that? Is that also something? I have to try and... Well, this we remember from the first... The main game. I keep saying the first game. Well, it's not the first. Oh. Nice pocket watch. Because I was being a little, you know, a bit sloppy with everything. That looks like a... That looks like an, a modern phone, almost. <laughs> I thought that was... Oh my god, I hate when I do that. I do apologize. Uh, we could have missed something in here as well, I think. Maybe. And that, what the hell kind of picture is that? That is so odd. Alright, now... Yeah, I think that was that. Okay, so let's do the kids' room now. So I always regret, um, or my room, I should say. I was the kid. Uh, I keep th like thinking back to that me being. I I know that in another part of the game, I uh, <laughs> talked through as the character as if I was the father character because I was so used to it from the main game but there you go that looks awfully blurry wow everything is cleaned out it looks so different 
course, they took. Uh, if I was replaced, I was rehomed. So, of course, they brought everything uh, for with me, I suppose. I think the studio, this room, and the. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving. Keep your head straight! Do I have to fight this? As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. <sighs> and yet, she did not dare to move. For she knew that that would be the end of her. Princess. Hello! I'm right here! The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed the hellhound. The hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air. With its perky ears wearing even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless. Letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. <laughs> the hand was near, just outside of view, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. <laughs> she felt the sudden urge. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dark. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood triumphant in the sun, Smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... Scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess. I am so sorry. Duh. Yeah. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that... To him... Reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world. Unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Oh no, I missed the... There was a picture there I could have taken. Oh, these things so annoys me. Fuck! Is it still here? Oh yes, it is. Good. Well, anyway, uh... Uh, if you want to keep your kid still for, you know, hair cutting or uh, drawing or whatever, I don't think telling them a horror story <laughs> to make them stand still is particularly um, neither a PC or uh, effective way, actually. I've, s I've found old pictures, maybe. That could be. Or v uh, experienced all flashbacks maybe 
That seemed harsh to give the the dog or the wolf my dolls. But okay. I think of course there are several ways to do these things, but I think we have been everywhere except here. Now, I think this should be the last room.